Legendary game. So y'all miss Legend on the back end of the year. So much y'all kind of roll 10K. Barry voices is kind of on the low end, bro. We got NBA 2K complete. I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't gonna read the title. Just make sure service good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, I will be real. I am loving the direction they actually taking this, bro, because I'm seeing the, the dedication and the effort. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but we're gonna have to wait to see if the service talking about. Uh, I will not be buying the game because I'm getting a game shirt. Thank God. Um, <laughs> like my comment roll to K, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. New dribbling system, including speed boosting. We've got the new go-to shots that can lead to some insane greens. We've got the shot rating you need to green consistently. We've got the mid-range game covered for all you mini magicians out there. We've See, got the thing the is, I gotta be consistent when I play, bro. Sometimes I be saying I'm a play and I don't be playing, you know what I'm saying? So, them shooting system. And for all you slackers, it's looking like it's worth it, though. meter dunking breakdown. We're gonna cover the all-new shot contest system and for all the centers, we cover the standing dunks and the paint mash. We've got Devin Booker floaters. We've got scoopers. Everything you need to know about layups. We've got everything from paint defense to perimeter bumps to bump steals. Lockdown, stay tuned. Of course, we're going to break down post scoring and spoiler alert. It's really good again. We've got ankle breakers, blowout dribbles, Patty Mills jump shot. Everything you want to know about Patty Mills jump shot. Who fucking about Patty Mills jump shot, nigga? <laughs> Bro, anybody who's sitting by that? In this video, drop a like. Let's get it to 10,000 likes. And let's get into it. And let's talk about dribbling. Okay, there was a lot of things floating around the internet about how you could not speed boost on this game. I don't know. Listen, y'all gotta be careful who you... Uh, you can speed boost, okay? Was See, it we different? Better. Absolutely. Is it gonna take us a little while to figure out how to speed boost out of... I feel like bro, it's gonna make you overpower, bro. You, you gotta figure out a way to balance it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, that's what I feel like. This, if, this, if this shit overpower, bro, I feel like a lot not really gonna mean nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, you just gotta really see how it's you know, gonna play out. Of course. Just like 2K24, the beginning of the game, Ooh. nobody could speed boost out of stuff. People were spamming Magic Johnson crossover for like two <laughs> months, right? It took us a while. People thought you had to have a time, man. Look at 12, boy. And then we realized, okay, you got to do a hezzy out of each dribble move, and then you can burst cleanly. It's going to be something like that along the lines for, for 25 as well. We just got to find the sauce. People like Young Dirk and Koza were doing a lot more dribble labbing than me. I just tested it a little bit. I speed boosted with De'Aaron Fox, with John Morant, with LeBron James, and... For those of you that were also wondering, LeBron hotback is back. Yep, you still get the big hotback. And for the small guards, I mean, Chris Paul's got the same thing. So LeBron hotback is back. You're going to be doing it. Bro, that's the combos, the be going to be crazy this that, year, bro. Uh, like Steph Curry has to like dance behind a screen and John Morant right there to like get into the mid range. They felt pretty smooth, pretty clean. I lapped up a little bit. You know, you could spam like the job Ooh. aggressive combo breakdown. Um, and I chained together some decent little moves. In my opinion, I'm taking notes. The big I'm players notes. almost Jeff got to put time on my ship, so. than the small players. But like, look at I'm speed boosting with De'Aaron Fox, like no problem. And and this was me labbing for like five to ten minutes, you know. So that whole thing, people were tweeting, oh, oh there's no speed boosting. I don't know, I don't know what these people. I don't know if they played the same game as me. But <laughs> you see the cross launch on the uh, crossover right there, little like quick. I guess kind of quick stop pull up the magic crossover into like the John Wall crossover to the hoop right here. There's definitely going to be some ways to get open. We just kind of, you know, 20 minutes of laughing the, the demo game at Community Day is is not enough. It's going to take a little while. You see the John Wall snatchback from last year. There's a lot of ways that we're going to figure out to get lie. open. Whether you're on a bigger player, a smaller player, you can speed boost. Dribbling is different. One hundred. Two K come out like second round. Two K come out next week. It's so do. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's so do. We gotta lab it up. We gotta find out the best sigs. We're using NBA players. NBA players. Even a Kyrie Irving, a Darren Fox, a Trey Young. They do not have optimized sigs. They have a you know they have a a couple good sigs, but they don't have like your my player where you have you know one of the best animations in every category. They might have one or two or three good dribble moves in their package of whatever it is, 10 dribble moves, let's say. While your my player has 10 good animations, all animations you have are good and give you clean bursts and clean movement. These guys are, you know, they're NBA players. They have their actual SIGs. Some of them are trash. Some of their SIGs are trash. <laughs> That's where the live note come in. Some of their SIGs are trash every year, right? So let's relax. 
I think we're going to be fine. Just like at the beginning of 24, it felt stiff, it felt slow, nobody could figure out how to move cleanly and speed boost. And like I said, people were spamming Magic Johnson crossover for like a month or two. <laughs> we're going to figure it out. When it comes to Steezo, Steezo's going to go crazy on this game. I was able to like dribble backwards a little bit and oh I'm not Yo, any, you know. I stand with you, Leo, 99. Steezo's going to go for absolutely soul. insane on this game. All right, so let's look at the new shot timing profile. You have layup timing and shot timing profiles. So for layup timing, you have real player percentage, low normal, and high risk. You still have your shot timing visual. Was real player percentage? I could have sworn they took that shit out. I hope to God I don't take that out because, boy, I was, boy, yo, that was the time, bro, when real player percentage was on your jump shot. Oh, my gosh. Q, at least in the demo version, you couldn't create the custom cue that they had talked about, so you could just choose from the ones from last year, so I put it on push. And then for the shot timing profile, you see it's set to difficulty based, which is basically it just automatically adjusts depending on the difficulty you're playing on, so I don't know how that's gonna work with online gameplay, if that's gonna be an option, but you still have real player percentage, low, normal, and high risk, and essentially, you, you can read the descriptions here, but the higher the risk you go, the more your timing matters. And I'm going to be honest, unless you have bad Wi-Fi or you're just extremely new to 2K, after testing normal and high risk and, and all these options, it, everyone's going to play on high risk. Like everyone that plays the game, yeah, yeah, is, yeah, I'd risk. say average to above average. Time to affect your site. High risk reward. Hey, enlightenment, you gotta take a high risk, uh, high risk, high reward, shit. Average? Yeah, it's a lot. Bad Wi-Fi, you're gonna play on high risk, cause it just, it gives you more control over whether you green or not. And shooting on high risk, as you're gonna see, even with low three point ratings, I was still able to spark. So here's what I was talking about. You see, I have it set to high risk really? reward on your shot timing profile, okay? And I'm using Ja Morant here. The difficulty is on Hall of Fame, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna check out Ja's three-point rating. It is a 78. Ja was a 90 on the race, so he's a 91. I, I guess that's a little 2K thing, even though Ja should be like a 94, I'm sorry, at least, you know what I'm saying? Three-point so. rating, and I did go look at his badges after. He has no limitless range, so not even bronze limitless range. Uh, you know, he's and got he's still a few badges, if I remember correctly, but I just looked to see if he had limitless. It's on Hall of Fame, and like I was, you know, this is using Josh jump shot see, see, but no jump is, shot. Though, bro, sometimes it be different, bro, from practice, bro. When you get into practice, you green this shit, when you get on the court, you 0 for 10, dog. Like, <laughs> I mean, it sound good. We're going to have to wait and see, though, bro. I don't think he had any three-point hot zones, like, and I was still able to just green, 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 green. So in my opinion, if you're not using high risk, high reward, you're gonna be at an extreme disadvantage, especially when you play against other good players. Like I said, unless you have bad Wi-Fi or something, you're gonna be on that high risk. Now, this the next thing I wanted to curve. test Ooh. was limitless range. It's on Hall of Fame, and I'm shooting Ooh, from the I logo. Feel Step. Like, nigga, the suit might be overpowered this year. That's how I'm feeling, bro. I feel like the suit gonna be overpowered. I feel like, yeah, you see, I see the dribbling, but I feel like the shooting, bro, it's gonna be a shooting year, bro, like for real. Has Hall of Fame limitless range. So, you know, this year you can get legend. Yeah, I'm feeling like this year's gonna be a shooting year, dog. But no, no NBA players that we played on had legend badges. So I wasn't able to test any legend oh, badges. That's from half but as you there, see, no. I can shoot from basically the center circle with Hall of Fame limitless. Now, Steph does have a 99.3. Let's move on. All right, let's talk about the new limitless bar. Okay, obviously we we've, we've read about it. Now this is it in action. Basically, it gives you two timings. It gives you a feedback on the first initial push of the stick in terms of your timing, and then it gives you a second reading at the bottom that talks about your tempo. Now, if you green both the timing and the tempo, you make it every time from what I saw. If you green one or the other, you make it a decent amount of the time. But as you see in the screenshot. You got the timing and the tempo, and you know, right here, I, I got great timing, great tempo, so they're both green. You make the shot. So you got to worry about time timing and the tempo. But the main the problem I think is going to come with this is let's look at the two situations. First of all, catch and shoot. When you're catching and shooting using the stick shooting, it seemed like there was a slight delay, like there was a little bit of a hitch in terms of how fast you could get the shot off. And maybe I was just doing it wrong because it was the first time playing the game, but even people that I talked to, they kind of said, they felt like they could shoot much quicker. Like you could instantly shoot the ball if you shot with the button on catch and shoots. 
um, and there was that slight hitch, slight delay using the stick, which obviously is going to lead to your shot getting contested more because you can't get the shot off as quickly. The other situation besides catch and shoot is dribbling, and obviously it's something new, and I was only experimenting with it for a few minutes on this demo version of 2K25, but to go from comboing dribble moves to then shooting with the stick, it felt very awkward, and, and maybe that's just because it's new. If I had to guess whether people are going to use it or not, I would say majority of people will not use this kind of like the shot aiming back in 2k21 i think it was 2k21 if y'all remember that i feel like it's going to kind of be like that you'll get a few people experimenting with it but for the most part people are going to stick with that button shooting especially with the high risk option i just feel like it was so consistent even with that uh even with john moran the 78 no. three ball like imagine you know are my players with much higher ratings with jump shot boost, with like, hot zones, a lot of grips now, man. zones et cetera et cetera y'all you guys understand what i'm saying the one situation i think i could see people potentially using that the right. stick shooting is on fades now these are from my boy Swag. He was testing it out and he said it felt really good when he was just kind of running to the side and shooting like a mid-range fade. So maybe people will use that. He said he would kind of experiment with it more and, and consider it. Well, for someone like me who's typically ISOing, I don't see myself comboing up and creating space and then using the stick to shoot. So experiment with it as you want. I'll probably test it out never a little bit more, but I, mean, I think that's I'm just going to be shooting with the button on that high risk hybrid reward. Go to shots. These are actually pretty cool. How effective Ooh, will they be? I, I see it. I see. I see that. I see that being overpowered. I see go to step backs being. I can see it, bro. From right now, bro, you're not gonna be able to guard that shit, bro. Unless you got like a not sure. A lot of deal, And bro. did they soup up the green window on these? I don't know because I was green and reds and yellows oh on these gosh. like crazy. And yes, this is on Hall of Fame. That is a very I can see, tight I can coverage see. that we're gonna get into shortly. On Hall of Fame difficulty over Michael Jordan, who has straight Hall of Fame defensive badges. Here's another one right here with Kevin Durant, and it's a green, uh, another red contest over Chris Middleton. So, Boy, go to me shots, and, bro. bro, play now. With me gonna be crazy, bro. Bro, the Spurs gonna be the team. You got Chris Paul in with me, bro. You're not gonna be able to guard that shit, bro. The reason I like them is just because they look really, really nice. Aesthetically, they are very pleasing. They look very like they literally as an as a fan of the NBA, they look just like the player movements from real life. Now, I'm not gonna lie, some of them are real. a little slow and they don't create a lot of space. So I don't know how much people will actually use them in like online gameplay. But the one thing that is good about these, as uh, we read in the courtside report, if you watched that video or, or read about it yourself, you can, at any moment, out of those combinations, you can speed boost out of it. You can also, at any moment, as you, let's say you go tween, behind the back, For tween, really? tween, pop, at any moment in that sequence, you can do a different dribble move. So let's say I go tween, behind the back, tween and then that looks like, hard, like an escape and run right i can escape and it run do. right at any moment within that whole sequence and that's like the shot canceling feature that they were talking about and i was a little skeptical because i was like that well way, this, hard. they got hard right days, off the you could shot me. cancel like you do a hop jumper you just don't shoot it right you do a hop jumper and then just like run out of it but it was much smoother like they said i, I see say, so. hard step back just or i've already seen i already seen I already see it, bro, before, before the game you touch down, bro. We'll have to experiment with it. I'm sure everyone's going to find, like, the one or two good, like, signature go-to shot that creates a ton of space or allows you to, like, <laughs> For real. really hop away and then, like, combo out of that and, and get to the basket or whatever. They, you I'm know, already seeing it. Hard gonna gonna find, like, the most effective ones and use them online. But from a, like, from a visual standpoint, it looked really good. And I don't know if they souped up the green windows, like I said, but I was green and contested signature go-to shots a lot and all the gameplay you see in this video is on hall of fame off dribble shooting uh for those of you that love the mid-range and love the hop jumpers Oof, and fades and all good. that i can't even tell really good i'll be honest like it, for y'all 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 actually making up for the for the shitty ratings y'all put out not gonna hold you the gameplay actually is not looking bad like Niggas gonna fuck around and say, oh, it's too bad. I'm not gonna lie, it's not even looking that bad for him. I'm using Kevin Durant and some other really right good now. high rated players, but it felt very greenable. Yellows, reds, felt, I think the mid range is gonna be lethal again on this game. Like, it's gonna be too. something that people can go to with the front Probably. fades, the side fades, the back fades, the hop jumpers, spin shots, all the stuff that all you like midi 
loving players. Oh my gosh, love no, the straight shoot. I, I don't really see nobody being a slash. I really do not. I really do not, bro. Like right now, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing really niggas be a slash, bro. For real. Twenty four. I feel like the mid range is gonna be just as effective on this game. Um, so yeah, whether you're shooting the signature well, shots, the hot shots, the, shoot, the fades, bro, straight. the mid range solid is, defense. is definitely gonna be back this year, in my opinion. Uh, of course, I'm just playing against the AI, but I think I get a pretty good sense of it from what I tested, and midis are going to be good yet again. Let's get into meter dunking. Now, the first thing you might see, the actual meters, there is no green window that it shows, so it determine whether it's a good or a bad dunk Damn. attempt. I'm not really sure. Yeah, you got to get my boy um, job in it off, so... It, okay. It's a bit of guesswork. Did it feel good? That boy, that oh, boy, it boy, I good. cannot yep. wait to see that pick and roll with Edie and John. Boy, and I know y'all see uh, Edie was hitting uh, three-pointers. It's about to be scary fucking hours, boy. I'm seeing 60 wins, dog. Like, I don't know what y'all... I'm seeing 60 wins, bro. Everybody it, it still felt real good. Uh, I did not green all of them, so it wasn't like super duper easy to do that. You could just be brain dead and do it. All of these are on Hall of Fame. But as I said, there's no green Yo, window to tell it's you if it's so like, like realistic, bro. Like say, oh, it's a big meter or a small meter. You know, they talked about the dope meter logic was going to change, and it wasn't just going to be straight up big or straight up tiny like there's going to be in between but we don't even know if they're you know we don't really even know what is considered an in between or what's considered a big meter small meter we don't know any of that because when you go up regardless of which of the three dot meters you you pick it doesn't show you a green window and the same is for standing yeah, notes that really? we're going to get into in a second so I guess it's going to be a lot of trial and error on what's a good take. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a bunch of guessing, or you're just going to have to really know your meter. I don't know. That's why I'm not really seeing a bunch of slashing this year. I'm not going to lie. I, I really feel like it's going to be more shooting mid range, bro. Like, super greenable. The one thing I will say is is going against smaller play, like, jaw dunking on a guard definitely felt a lot easier as I miss on, as I miss one on Dinwit. I mean, I have show that. <laughs> the one thing I will say is the opponent, the defender mattered, for example. Like, trying okay. to dunk on Draymond felt a lot more difficult than trying to dunk on a guard, like a Kyrie Irving or something. Like, it definitely felt like the defender's attributes and badges mattered more than it did on 24, Damn. which overall is a good thing. I think that makes sense. But like I said, without being able to see the green window, you really don't know what's a good or a bad take. It's going to be a lot of trial and error. But well, they got the still tattoos. Good. Absolutely. Perfect, bro. Let's get into Shocky Test. So they took away percentages. And from what I understand, there won't be percentages in the real game either. So there's wide open, Damn. I think there's open, and then there's light pressure, which is a yellow contest, and then there's tight, which is a red contest. And then another degree that I saw was very tight, but it was also red colored, so I'm assuming it's just like obviously a heavier contested tight shot, but we don't know like how much more of a, an effect that has. Now, the bigger question I have is some of these shot contest systems. So I just have two examples here because I don't want to go on and on for hours and hours, but check this out. Okay, Katie pulls up, it's a light pressure, okay? Shooting it over Brooke Lopez. Now let's check out this MJ fade over Dwayne Wade. That's a red. So Damn. let's let's break this picture down. I froze it at the release so, point. So contesting by reaching it is gonna get more contesting jumping, like huh? Both of their jump shots. If you see the first one on the left with Dwayne Wade, I reached. I'm the defender in this situation. I tried to like get a strip animation or something like that. So there huh? is no hand even above Michael Jordan's waist at the time of him releasing that fade. That's kind of weird. And I got a large. red contest. Now on the flip side over here with Kevin Durant, Brooke Lopez contested this shot pretty damn well. Like his hand is all the way up basically by Durant's wrist, almost right by his hand. It might be like one of those in real life where you shoot and the defender, you know, you high five the defender as you release the ball. Like he's right there and that's a yellow. So that makes me think maybe Dwayne Wade's perimeter is much higher than okay, Brooke Lopez's. Could be maybe too. his challenger is much higher. So. Or is it going to go back to contests where it just really depends on where you're standing? Like if you're in the hit box, the hit box probably isn't the right term, but you understand what I'm saying. If you're if you're like right up against the defender, even without a hand up, is it going to be a red this year? Because I'm going to be honest, the, the jump shot that KD's taking looks a hell of a lot more contested than the one that Michael Jordan's taking. And like I said, the Jordan contest was a red, and the KD contest was a yellow. 
I'm not really sure about this. I'm not really sure. Obviously, online gameplay will be the ultimate determining factor on like how we feel about shotgun tests, but this was just something that I noticed when I was going back over all the gameplay that I had, and I was like, man, like, that looks way more contested than the other one, and the other one registered as okay, red. got some fixes so, in New Bird, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not really sure how I feel about shot contests, and yeah, I can't really give some fixes a good answer on this. Right it's like like niggas are shooting over everybody, and it's not really matter what the defense talking about, bro. All that very tight, all the pressure don't it seem like it's nothing, it's like it's not gonna matter. Or the same, or whatever the case may be, as opposed to 24. So this is one, my bad, I'm just showing you the example. I can't give you an answer on this one. So let's talk about them taking away the percentages real quick. Immediately my brain goes, man, like, there's a big difference between a 6% yellow contest and a 36% yellow contest, and we're not going to know that this year. So does that mean every single light contest is exactly the same? It should be. Mean, I mean, if you take it in some way. You know, obviously, the, the, depending on the level of your challenger and your perimeter defense, does that make it easier to get a red contest instead of a yellow? Or is it just across all, all you know, is whatever's a yellow is a yellow regardless of badges, but then because of the level of the badge will be like how effective that yellow contest is. It just kind of raises a lot of uh, questions about how effective shot contests are gonna be because you're not gonna really know in great detail what level the contest is. It's just either open, wide open, yellow, or red. Like there's no more information. Like it's a little that. more simpler now, bro. Like, mm hmm I kind of like it, but I don't. I ain't gonna hold you. I feel like it's more simple than our grip. I mean, you gotta wait and from see. what I was told, it's not getting added to the real game. Like, this, the way it was in the demo is how it's oh, gonna no, be bro. in the game. Let's talk about some standing dunks, some paint mash, something for you centers. Now, standing dunks, first of all, were really OP in 24 because of the jab step. Thanks. No more jab steps in the paint. Every time you try to jab step, you see right here, it's just, you pump fake. Pump fake, pump fake. There's no more. You can't. Hallelujah, you jab in the paint. That would piss me off. Any jab it would. in the paint. Now, the one thing I will say about the standing meter dunks, just like the driving meter dunks, because there's no green window, you don't really know what is a good Ooh, one and a bad one. So it's going to, again, be a lot of trial and error. Go have them. Oh, them bees going to have a. Y'all better get in the lab, bro. This is all I'm going to tell y'all, bro. Did I green some? Absolutely. You could also you get still, the last uh, one. stand in contact dunk with <clears throat> paint mashing. Until we play against other human beings, it's going to be tough to really get a read on it. But one thing I will say is like moving people out of the way and going up with close shots did feel pretty effective. Obviously, all these guys have high close shot like Giannis and when Benyama will look at like Giannis pushing Kevin Durant in and then going up and getting a layup, still greening it over light pressure. I feel like paint mashing could be determined a lot more this year off of potentially close shot, but more importantly, having some post control because without the jab step, to be able to create the yeah, space. Yeah, so post control is going to mean something now, To be able to bro. create the room that you need to be able to standing dunk or standing layup, I feel like it could be a challenge because that was the main reason on 24 it was so good because of the jab. The jab would get you that separation, be, get the that's defender that's off of you, and then you could go up. But without having the jab, you're going to have to go to other ways. And maybe post control becomes a little bit more important for a center who's looking to be an offensive option down low. We'll have to wait and see, like I said, until we play online, because just against the AI, it's never really a true yeah, you know, that how is it's going to be. All right, let's get into some layups. Now, layups on 24 were really good, and as the year went on, more and more people found out about how good they were, and people started making the Devin Booker floater builds. The mm -hmm. animation is still in the game. I didn't test it for too long, so I just got a couple clips for you there. I missed one. I made one. But also in the game, scoopers. Scoopers are back. Oh you my still gosh. get the cheese. Oh my gosh. Body oh to body scoop. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. That is going to be the new shit right there, bro. Nigga going to glitch through my guy, and I'm over here trying to go play defense, bro. Oh, shit. For animation. I can see it. They did not remove that. Now, the thing about this is, I don't even know if the devs know this is in the game. Like, once they found <laughs> they probably this don't. move out, they did it a lot in Pro-Am, I know some people did it in the stage. It was a bit more of a sweaty move, but basically, you could just body through somebody, even if they Glitch had a 99 somebody, strength, yeah, yeah, and you had no strength. Strength had nothing to do with it, and that's why I, I'm not sure the devs even know this is in the game. So that body-to-body, -body, like, scooper cheese layup animation is still a thing. Um, and it is still very effective. I greened some yellows with it, uh, and most of them said open. <clears throat> now, 
Also with that, there's some cool new animations like that, where it's like the dude's kind of pushing LeBron in the back. And it, it, it just looks cool, and overall, layups did feel very, very effective. Now, again, I really feel like against the on your build, we have to wait and see how it feels online. Yeah. But overall, layups, they felt good. The deep book floaters back, the scoopers back. Even if you don't get the scooper cheese layer, like where you get the body to body scooper cheese, just it looks more scoopers realistic. Good. Though. I'm gonna I say that. a lot of a lot of layups, and then even like with the smaller players, like if they take you out of a dunk, oh, that boy twelve. Layup, yeah. <laughs> that was tough. Those of you that were asking me to test the layups, I would definitely say for those of you that love layup builds and all that, it's definitely going to be viable again. There might even be some good new layup animations. I'll we'll have to wait and see, you know, if, it, if we find like something even better than the D book floater this year or or whatever. But definitely was fun to do the layups. There's some cool new animations that I noticed, and for those like more sweaty players, the D book's back. The body to body scoopers are back. Hey, nigga, I'm not finna switch for us. Now let's talk about some defense. Unless it's some trash talk. Block steals were kind of tough to test See, with those detail, locks that want bump balls, steals dude. back. I'm Fuck. gonna go out on a limb and say they are back because I was blitzing the computer on Hall of Fame. And Ooh, I love anytime this. my body so. hit that ball, the ball popped free. So those lockdowns that were frustrated all of 24 with not being able to get the bump steals that you they were able to get. I'm going to be a lot with, with a little bit of suit, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not really looking to dunk as long as I can do it. And, and the way I'm seeing the layups, man, like, yeah, that's what I'm that, going, going to trend towards. they feel they should have got, I should say. Because you got Damian really Lillard doing like that crazy. shit, bro. And bro, he's not has no defense. They ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at this way. Okay. Like, I'm blitzing Devin Booker. It's on Hall of Fame, and I'm just blitzing it like anytime my body. They might pass that though. Real it top free. They might pass it. And that. probably should kept that. Testing in the blocks with the NBA players against the AI is just difficult because not a lot of the guys have like Hall of Fame glove with 99 steel, like a you know a lockdown wood or. You know, <clears throat> anytime I did go for a reach on the ball, I Damn, did not but get just like no that, just... ripper. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And when I tested it in 24, I'm not trying to be I was getting and then a nigga just ripped the ball, bro. I can't dribble though. Like, like I ain't even gonna lie. A ton of on ball steals. I didn't test it for very long this year because you know I had a limited amount of time and I had to get in the builder and all that, but. To me, the the main thing that stood out yeah, was, kind of was like bump steals. You know what I'm saying? steals felt like they were like really effective. Like if you position yourself correctly and you get your body onto that onto that basketball, it's gonna pop free from the ball handler. Which, in my opinion, takes more skill than getting a pluck steal anyway. So I don't think that's a bad thing. I'm not sure about pluck steals, but they definitely didn't feel how they felt when I tested 2K24 last year at Community Day. Maybe I didn't test them enough, but I will say. In the in the demo mode that I played here, this demo version of the game, bump steals felt really, really good. Some more defense. The bumps that you could get on the ball handler felt good. That on-ball menace, I think that's what they said was like the new clamps as you see it popping up in the uh -oh. top, top right-hand corner. Uh -oh. You get a lot of bumps, but like Bill Cartwright right there getting that little blow-by animation on Chris Bosh, I don't right think there. the bumps are like so OP to the point that people won't be able to move. Obviously, I think it's going to depend on what build is playing against what build, what the strength is, what the immovable forcer is, what the lightning launch is on, all that. But Bill Cartwright right there got a blow-by animation moving in slow motion against Chris Bosh, but then I also got some really good bump animations with LeBron against uh, Scottie Pippen. So hopefully it's balanced and, and hopefully it's it's not just super RNG whether you get a good bump or they get a blow by. Hopefully it actually does depend on momentum and badges and attributes and all that. Tough to say against the AI, like I said, but once we get into online gameplay, I think within a couple weeks, we will definitely have our answer. We touched on paint defense a little bit already when we were talking about the meter dunks, but it felt pretty good in terms of like if you kept your body between somebody and the hoop, you could definitely Ooh, wall up, chase down block right, right there with LeBron, definitely can still, you know. But did the computer make some red layups on me? Absolutely. You know, did they make some yellows on me? Absolutely. I think it all depends on your positioning and then also your rating and your badges. Anytime I feel like I was on a, a good enough defender and I got my body in position to stop a drive, I feel like I got the stop pretty consistently. Also, when I was doing the meter dunks, like I said, it was much harder to meter dunk on a Draymond Green than it was on a Kyrie Irving. So I think size, but then also attributes matter. Like Draymond's defense and badges are definitely a lot better than Kyrie's when it comes to inside. So I think that's also a big factor to take into consideration. But we'll have to wait and see. Okay, here we go again. Post scores. Well, so you take away, you, you take away. Ah, oh, look, man, it's always a twist, baby. 
You take away the uh, little OP background and then you make the fucking hooks even. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Every year, bro. I knew Every it. Every year. I knew it. They're going to be godly, bro. Oh They're my going to gosh. be godly. I'm telling you that right now. You still get the spin throw animations. The post hooks felt good. It's over. The post fades felt good. I thought it was gonna be. And I thought it was gonna be out the gutter for y'all. Y'all in the uh, in the trenches, man. But y'all finna be in the keep, bro. Y'all finna be doing that shit all the time, bro. Gold post badges. So there's two tiers up, right? You can go to lead, or you can go to half, and then you could go to legend. So a pure post score with legend, legend? post badges. Damn. Get ready, bro. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Let's get ready. See. Oh man. They're back. They are back again. They are back again. The fades felt real. Obviously, Embiid has a really good mid-range rating and, and post control rating and all that. So the fades with him did feel, you know, extremely good. I don't think we're gonna have as high a rating. Oh my gosh! Uh, you know, if you made a seven-three post score. Oh my yeah yeah well, that, that would be crazy. You could have small man, wingspan. Man, but anyway, my point is, post scores are back. They're gonna be godly. You can still throw people. The drop steps felt really really good. The hooks, the fades. This was with gold badges, Imagine Legend. Y'all get the point, on and on and on. Post scores, yet again, they're gonna be godly. Another thing to test was the blowout dribble. Now you do it with the flicking the right stick up, and I'll be honest, it, it did feel better than 2K24. It definitely felt like you could actually kind of get Yeah, because the last time it was like, like the ball was going getting here. separation from the opponent, it did feel better, but I was playing against just the like last it, was, it was just literally the ball just, just being bounced and then nigga, somebody come around and take it, bro. Now I just seem like your player keeping up to it now. I see when there's another human being sprinting as fast as he can to try to catch up you know to you. When it comes to ankle breakers, I really only got one, and I didn't even do it on purpose, and it was on a hop jumper, unfortunately. So, are ankle breakers back? Are they gonna be effective? I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. But one thing I will say was when I was dribbling on the perimeter a lot, I would get oohs and ahs from the crowd, and like, I wasn't getting any crazy ankle breaker. It was almost like I was getting stun animations just from doing like small little combos. So it almost it almost seemed like it worked as ankle breaker, but also tight handles. If y'all remember tight handles, we get those stun animations. And it wasn't like anything crazy in terms of the stuns. That presents problems, guys. Thank you, David. But I heard the crowd every time I saw the defender wobble, even just a little bit, you know, ooh, Ooh, shit. Uh, we'll see once we get online. I didn't like spam to get ankle breakers all that often, but everyone else I talked to said they barely got any. Right, a lot of you guys asked me about yeah, Patty Mills' jump shot because it was so good in 24. Now, that's why, that's still, why. I, I was sure, but I was like, they talking about Patty Mills. I was like, damn, I forgot that nigga jump shot was good, bro. I didn't use that. I forgot what I used, but... So yeah. fast. Obviously, this is just at, this is the actual Patty Mills jump shot. I wasn't able to create a custom Patty Mills with different releases, but it is still really fast. Uh, it feels relatively the same as last year. Uh, depending on shot contests and depending on obviously once you know 2K Labs gets in and tests all the the green window sizes for the bases and the releases and all that, it'll determine if it's going to be the best shot in the game again. But in terms of speed and visual looks and everything, I mean, Patty was still paddying. I'm gonna be honest, Patty was still paddying, so it might be one of the best shots on the game again. We'll have to see, and a big determining factor on why Patty Mills was the best shot on, on 24 was the contest system, just for whatever reason, just Patty would just register opens almost all the time. Like even the 5% contests on 24 looked like they should have been reds. Like, it was crazy in terms of negating contests. That's why it really was a crazy, crazy shot on 24. So we'll have to see how that plays out on 25, but it is still on 25 and it's still fast and it looks the same. So for those of you that wanted me to test Patty, there's your quick little review. Well, that's my NBA 2K25 gameplay breakdown. If you're looking for my NBA 2K25, my player builder breakdown, click that video on the screen right there. You don't want to miss that. You definitely too. don't want to miss that. Uh oh. I had to tap in that, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking, bro. Like, some kind of road to cake. I feel like it's going to be a good year, man. I ain't really going to trip on it too much. Uh, but, yeah, bro. Shout out Joto. No count. Make sure I'm liking it. Uh, yeah, bro. Just go ahead and wait to see what it's talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? I can get stressed on my 30 with <laughs> Michael. Hey, <laughs> right, bro. Um, Joe is. That is crazy. I ain't even think that. Uh, yeah, I was looking like, where did that video at? You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna trip on it too much, but 
And man, y'all boy shout out to you, bro. Y'all let me know, man. That's your final roll, TK, bro. I'm out.